So while the focus of this webinar absolutely is on the medication themselves, it's important that we see these weight loss drugs as a vehicle to getting to your health goals as opposed to the be all end all. You still have to drive the car and shift the gears. And that's what when we're talking about that, we're talking about those lifestyle and diet changes that you have to also make in order to aid yourself in on this mission um, to lose weight. So randomized clinical trials have actually shown that once individuals stop taking semaglutide, they do regain the weight back. So the step one trial extension did find that one year after withdrawal of that once weekly subcutaneous injection, um, even at the highest dose of 2.4 milligrams, participants gained two thirds of their prior weight loss. And similar changes were actually seen even in their cardiometabolic variables. So when you stop taking these medications, uh, human physiology does prevail. So we see those hunger hormones like ghrelin increase and your basal metabolic rate slowing down, which really makes it challenging to keep the weight off. And so it really highlights the need to make those habit and lifestyle changes as protective factors for your yourself um, as you taper off the medication or if you no longer can take the medication or even just to aid yourself in this journey and weight loss to mitigate um, the regain as much as possible. And it really does highlight the need for ongoing treatment as opposed to seeing this as some short term medication to help you lose it, um, your certain amount of weight and then stopping because it won't be effective in terms of sustainable weight loss, which is what we really want to see. So this is actually a randomized control trial. People lost a lot of weight and then they were randomized to actually stop or keep the drug going. And that the vast majority of people who stop the drug gain the weight back. Now, I've seen some other series where roughly one in six people will not gain the weight back. So one in six will not. Um, many will regain about two-thirds of their weight back over time. So we have to be smart about it. You know, if you if you uh, you know get Wayne Gretzky off your hockey team, um, chances are you can't win the Stanley Cup. Uh, last time Edmonton won with Wayne Gretzky was part of the Edmonton team, and, they have, and they're still trying to get back to that point, and they have some fantastic teams. And they're going to do it again in the future, I know. Uh, they have some superstars. But part of this thing is that uh, this drug actually takes the conversation away from being hungry all the time. It allows you, as you point, to shift the gears and do other things as well. Um, and I'll, I'll just say this, you're going to tell us a little bit more about this, is that you, when you starve yourself, you eat less calories, you're going to lose both fat and muscle. And we're going to try to help you how to how to lose more fat than muscle. And uh, so we'll have to do some clues about that as well. So, but it, it really, for some people, it's an amazing drug. And if, if, if you know, 70% of the, our, our population wasn't overweight, we wouldn't need the drug. But for many people, this is a game changer. And But we have to be smart about this as well, too. It's a costly drug. We can actually use it smarter, intermittently, withdrawal, put it back on and things of that nature. Or you can just do the traditional way, just, just take the drug forever and do all the right things. And that, that's only an approach to as well. Uh, but many of us don't want to do that. And uh, but, but, but if you just stop the drug, you're just asking for disappointment. Mm -hmm.